everybody doing okay today? Kas kõik tunnavad ennast hästi? Can you hear me? Kas te kuulate mind? Kas kõik tunnavad ennast hästi täna? Hallo. Yes. All right. We're echoing major. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, we taught a very simplified version of this on Sunday morning in church. Kedas väga väga lihtsalt versiooni sellest samast jutudest me rääksime selle pühapäeval laste kirikus. And I got home and one of the parents wrote to me and said that her daughter was so excited when she got home from church. Ja ja üks lapse vanemates kirjutas peale kogudus mulle et et tema laps oli nii põnevil kui ta koju jõudis. That she went home and told her mom all about everything she learned. Et ta läks laps läks koju ja ja pühapäeval kodus rääkis oma emale kõik selle ümber mis ta mis ta õppis just. And she sat home in the evening reading her bible so she could learn more of Ja õhtul see sama laps luges piiblit ja selleks et ta võiks rohkem õppida selle sama asja kohta. And so you know the the topic of what we're going to talk about tonight is a little bit about faith. Sega see teema mida me täna räägime on natuke usus. And you know children can learn to believe so much easier sometimes than adults can. Ja vaist on nimade et lapsed suudva palju kergemini hakata uskuma midagi kui täiskasvanud inimesed. And so we need to have faith as a child. Sega me peaks meil peaks ka olema selline särna uhk nagu lastel. But the title of what uh, I'm going to talk about today is consider the source. Aga see pealkiri sellele mis me täna ka vaatsin enne rääkida on consider the source. Consor on see et the source. Ehm um, arvest allikaga ja. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, <laughs> consider the source. Arvest allikaga. What does consider mean? Mida tähendab arvestama? And when I teach, I'm used to teaching kids, so I like to hear back Ei, from you. Ei, lapsi, siis ma olen harjunud ka seda, et ma kuulen vastuga. Ja. If I ask you a question, you Seega, can answer. Kui ma küsin sinu kes küsimuse, siis sa võid vastata sellele. What do you do when you consider something? Mida sa teed, kui sa arvestad või mõtle millegi peale? <laughs> Kui sa arvestad midagi, mida, 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 sa, mida sa teed, kui sa mõtled, arvestad midagi? Sorry. No? Nobody knows you're not children. Okay, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> well, when you are considering something, you take some time and you really think about it. Aga kui sa arvestad või teesti kaalud midagi, siis, siis sa mõtle sügavuti selle peal. You look at all the facts. Sa vaatad kõikide faktide peale. You look at it from different angles. Siis sa vaatad erinevat... Um, uh, pealt. And then you make a decision. Ja siis sa and so, if you're considering something, Sega, kui sa planid, teha või peale, or if you use the word I have already considered it, kui sa peale, mida sa te mida sa teed, või sa oled juba teha, you've believed something to be true and you've made a decision on it. Siis sa oled, uh, You have, you have believed that something is true and siis you oled uskunud, et midagi vastab tõele ja siis sa oled otsustanud, otsustanud selle järgi ka mõelda. Teha. The Bible uses the word consider quite a bit. Bible kasutab seda sama äh, arvestamis või, või millegi kindla peale mõtlemise, mist mm -hmm. väga palju. And I probably should have gone over this with Freddy ahead of time. Ma oleks ka natukene pidanud arvestama ja rääkima natukene Fredist ka sellest teemast enne, kui me hakkasime vihta. But for example, some of the times where the Bible says the word consider. Aga jällegi, kui Bible räägib millegi peale plaanima või arvestamise peale. In Romans, the Bible says that Abraham did not consider that his body was dead. Abraham did not consider that his body was dead. He didn't um, take that. Abraham ei arvestanud sellega, et tema ihu on surnud. He didn't take into consideration that Sarah was an old lady and she couldn't have kids. Ta ei mõelnud või ei arvestanud ka sellega, et tema abikaasa on on vana naine. And so he took God as his, at his word. Ta lihtsalt, kui Jumal tale lubas midagi, siis ta võttis Jumala sõna. And so we would say he considered what God said to be true. Sega me võime öelda, et Abraham arvestas sellega, mida Jumal oli öelda. All right, so uh, we won't uh, specifically stick to the word because of course in Estonian it's a different word anyway. Sega me ka nii-öelda indingimata ei, 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 ei kinnitu ainult selle sõna külge, vaid, vaid me räägime sellest. But we're going to talk about your belief system. Me räägime sellest äh, sinu ususüsteemist. You know, to, with the internet being what it is today, Kui sa mõtled interneti peale see, mis ta täna põhval on. It's so much easier to get the news uh, right in front of your face. Siis täna päeval on väga palju lihtsam saada uudiseid enda nina ette. It's so easy to read things that you may or may not believe. Niivõrd lihtne on lugeda erinevate asjade kohta, mida sa kas usud või ei usu. And you, it's easy to um, 
not know the truth. Ja, on of ka it. väga lihtne mitte teada, mis on tõde. For example, Tome näite. I have here a quote from Abraham Lincoln. Ma siin üks sitaat Abraham Lincolnit. And the, the quote says, the problem with quotes found on the internet is they are not they are often not true. Eh, ja sinaga siin on toodud selline sitaat nagu ehm probleem sitaatidega mida sa leida internetist on see, et nad väga tihti ei vasta tõel. You've probably seen this on uh, Facebook going around. People take a quote and slap a picture on it. And then everyone thinks, well, that person said that. So apparently Abraham Lincoln was around when the internet was... I have another one that's worse, but it's kind of stupid. It's the same exact quote credited to Abraham Lincoln. On see sama sitaat, mis on äh mis oli Abraham Lincolniga seotud on nüüd sellega seotud. The problem with the internet is it no it's Benjamin Franklin. Ah, et see et see on tegelikult Benjamin Franklin sel sel pildi peal. But this just goes to show and I've seen this passed around before. Ja ma olen ka varem näinud, et seda seda on jagatud igal pool. And it just goes to show that people will believe whatever they read. If someone just tells them that it's true. And so you need to consider the source. Consider who's saying it. What is the source? If uh, you see a river. In America, the rivers are named by the source of the river. And I'm not sure if it's exactly the same way they do it in Estonia, but that's how the Piritur River can go halfway across Estonia. The Pirita River. Mm -hmm. You know, you're driving down the road and you see a sign for the Pirita River and you think, well, I'm not anywhere near Pirita. It's because it's the source. It's named after the source. It started from the sea into Pirita. And so if you're talking about a source, you're talking about where it began. And so if you're going to be uh, giving quotes and passing things around on the internet, you should find out first the source of it. To find out if it's really true. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about this later, but Pastor Barry is always laughing at me because I'll tell him something I read on the internet. And he'll say, well, where did you hear that? Well, I read it. Oh, because it was on the internet. Oh, it must be true. Yeah. And so we need to consider the source. And so turn in your Bibles. Matthew chapter 17 and verse 20. We're going to focus on Matthew 17, 20, for, but I'll read the first few verses to... But we'll read a, a couple verses ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to start with verse 14. It says, when they came to the crowd, a man approached Jesus and knelt before him. The man said, Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and is suffering greatly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. Isand halasta mu poja peale, sest ta on kuudõpine ja suures vaevas sagedasti langeta tulle ja sagedasti vette. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. Ja ma tõin ta sinu jüngrite juurde, kuid nad ei suutnud seda terveks teha. 
And this was Jesus' response. Uh, Jesus vastas seda asi. You unbelieving and perverse generation. Oh, oh, sind uskumatu ja pööranne tõu. How long shall I stay with you? How long am I going to put up with you? Bring that boy over here to me. Kui kaua ma pean olema teie juures, kui kaua pean ma teiega kanatama, tooge, see, tooge ta siia mu juurde. Jesus was talking to his disciples Jesus, in front of everyone else. Jesus rääkis siin ja sedasi oma äh, jümbritega kõikide teiste inimeste eest. They must have been thoroughly embarrassed. Ja nad arvatasti tundsid korralikult piinlikus. First they pärast, couldn't cast out the devil. Kõivalt nad ei suhtunud seda teemalit äh, selles poisist välja, välja heita. And then Jesus says, what am I going to do with you? Ja siis Jeesus kostab selle peale, et mida ma küll teiega teen? How long do I have to put up with you? Ja palju ma pean and so in verse 18 Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of the boy and he was healed at that moment ja Jeesus sõites teda ja kuri vaim väljus temast ja poiss sai terveks samas tunnist and then the disciples came to Jesus later in private and said why couldn't we drive it out siis tuli siis tuli jõngrid Jeesuse juurde ise päinis ja küsisid miks me ei võinud teda välja näada and he replied because you have so little faith truly i tell you if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Aga tema ütles neile, tõi nõdra usu pärast, sest tõesti mõtlen teile, kui teil oleks usku nagu sineb jõuake, siis te võiksid ütelda sellele mäele, siirdu siit sinna ja ta siirduks sinna ja miske ei oleks teile võimatu. Have you seen a mustard seed before? Kas oled kunagi sinepi seemed näinud? It's yeah, I didn't have any at home so I printed a picture. Kuna mul ei olnud kodus antud hetkel, siis siis ma printesin see pildikese meil. And this picture is blown up. Ja, it's bigger. Ja see pilt on ju suurendatud, see on suurem kui te tegelikult on. And so basically this is 2 centimeters right here. Eh siin on toodud ka võrdlus, et et siin on 20 mm. Eh see on 2 2 centimeetrit seal. Yeah, so all of these mustard seeds are so small that they fit into 2 centimeters. See ka need seemned siin on, on, mis siin on selles vahemikus, on nii väiksed, et ma auga kahe sentimetri vajusesse. That's a pretty small seed. See on tegelikult päris väike seed. It's maybe not the smallest seed in the world. See ei ole võibolla just kõige, kõige väiksem seeme siin maa peal. But this is one that can be planted into the ground. Aga see on üks seeme seeme, mille võib maa sisse külvata. And the Jews considered this when they talked about the mustard seed. They considered it something very small. Ja juuli, kui nad rääkisid sellest, siis nad pidasid sinepi seemete mileski väga väikeseks. And so the mustard seed... We've all considered it's small. <laughs> yeah, and so Jesus said, if you have faith that size, nothing shall be impossible to you. Well, how big does a mustard seed grow? All right, I have another picture here. This is when a lot of mustard seeds have been planted. And it's flowering at the, in this picture. It's beautiful. And so a mustard seed, it can, it can grow pretty much anywhere. It's uh, very hardy, um, very on strong as on väga tugev väga vähe nõudel is very resistant uh, to bugs so on väga vastupidav igasugustele üle putukatele animals don't particularly like the taste of it so uh, they stay away loomad üldjuhul ei armasta selle maitset seega hoiavad ka eemale sellest they prefer cool weather and wet ground eh uh, see see elistab mm-hmm. siis külma ilmastiku ja märga pinnast but it is very possible to grow in africa aga seda on ka väga lihtne afrikas näiteks kõrmes this kasutada. is a mustard bush tree selline on siis ja afrikas kasvab sinepi puupõsas yeah because technically or commonly they grow into bushes. Not trees. But this is a specific kind in Africa. And it's, uh, the stem of it gets hard like bark. And it grew really big. And mustard bushes, mustard trees, they grow really fast. They said un- 
unnaturally and abnormally fast. And so basically it takes a little bit of care. Sest, see tegelikult vaja vaid veidikene hoolitsust. But it's such a strong, sturdy plant. Aga see on niivõrd kõva ja kindel taim. It can grow and produce pretty much anywhere. Et see võib kasvada peaaegu ükskõik kus kohas. And so you've got this. Seega selline võib näha siin, kes siin väine. To this. Kuni selleni. In a relatively short period of time. Ja suhteliselt lühikes ajad. But again, you have to be careful what you read on the internet. Because when I googled a mustard tree, I had all kinds of different looking beautiful trees. But then when I would click on it and open it up and research it, Aga siis, kui ma nüüd vajutasin selle lingi peale ja uurisin selle kohta, mis ta ainult tegelikult on, siis tuli välja, et see ei olnud üldsegi pistnud midagi sinä pitega. So you can't just click on something and print out a picture and go, this is what I'm talking about. Sega sa ei saa ka lihtsalt minna suvalise lingi juurde öelda, ooo, see pilt, see nüüd on õige, vaid see nüüd see õige puu. You have to do your homework. Sa pead tegema oma tausta uuringud, sa pead teama, mis on see allikas. So you know what you're talking about. Sega sa pead teama, millest sa räägid. Consider the source. Sega sa pead arvestama sellega, mis on nüüd see allikas, So what does it mean to have faith? Faith is something that we exercise every single day. You know, I, when I talk about faith, I always use the example of the chair that you're sitting in. When you come in here, you believe the chair is going to hold you. You don't pick it up and inspect it and make sure it's I didn't see any of you do that. You had faith. Just as your belief that this chair is going to hold you. You can sit on it. Why did you know that? He's experienced it before. It didn't, yeah? So if you have experience with something before, you believe that it's true. But if you were to go into a strange office downtown and sit in one of their chairs that you've never sat in before. Aga kui sa lähed siit näiteks mingi suvalisse kontorisse, istuksid mõne nende tooli peale, kus sa pole varem istunud. Rain would be the only one, but he... Rain oleks ainus, kes panes ka ette. Now people would look at you like you were a little strange if you started. Inimesed vaataksid sinu peale, et sa vähekene veid, kui sa ainu hakkad katsutama. Because it's normal. To believe that a chair will hold you when you're going to sit into it. And our faith in God needs to be so normal that we don't think twice about what he said he's going to do. We just know it's true because he said it. You know, if, if I say I'm going to do something, kui nüüd mina ütlen, et ma teen mina, Do you believe that I'll do it? Some of you, yeah, some of you aren't quite sure. But he believed me because he knows me. If a stranger says they're going to do something, you kind of think, well, I hope that's true. Yeah, you hope. <laughs> okay, if I say I'm going to give you, I keep making him adjust the camera. If I'm going to give you 10 euros, do you believe me? Why? Because you see it here and you believe, okay, she's capable of giving me 10 euros. Yeah, it's possible because it's here. You know I'm capable of it. And you know me that I won't lie to you. So you believe it. What if I said to you I'm going to give you a million euros? Million, million euros 
And, <laughs> no, no, most of you would not believe me. Yeah, yeah. you, you would like to believe me because you... Sulle võiks meeldida, et, et see võiks vastata tõele. You want to think that I'm telling you the truth. Sa tahaksid loota, et ma räägin võtt. But you're not sure if I have that capability or not. Kas mul on see võimekus seda sellega läbi tulla või mitte. And the only one that knows for sure that I don't is no, ainus inimene, kes teab, et ma 100% kindel ja on 100% kindel, et ma pole seda täks suutnud, on päris siin. So sorry. Sega, sega palm vabandust. So you consider the source. Aga sa, sa pead arvestama selle allikaga või mõtlema, mis on see allikas. Now if a, a businessman were to come walking in here and he, he parked his Mercedes out front. Nüüd jällegi kui mingisugune ärimees mm-hmm. pargiks oma Mercedes siia maja ette. And he was dressed in a nice suit. Ja ta oleks siiusas ülikonnas. And he says I'll give you a million euros. Ja ta ütleb sulle, kuule ma annan sulle miljon eurot. You might have a little bit more faith. Siis sul on võibolla natukene rohkem usku kui minusse. But even see. still you don't know for sure. Ja sellegi pooles sa ei saa 100% kindel. Consider the source. Ja ta arvestama sellega, mis on see allikas. Sometimes you hear the same thing from two different sources. Sa võid ka kuulda kaht erinevat asja või siis sama asja kaht erinevat allikalt. And they mean two different things. Aga, aga see, mida me nüüd ütlesid, tähendab kahte teist erinevat asja. What if, um, let's say, Marge came running in here tonight and said, the building's on fire, the building's on fire, you have to leave. Toome näiteks äh, see siin näite. Marge tormab siit uksest sisse, ütleb, et äh, hoone põleb, äh, tormab ka rutu välja. You would probably believe her and get up and go, yeah? Siis sa või, äh, usuksid teda arvata hästi ja, ja läheksid ka, äh, tõsiks püsti ja läheksid välja koostama ka. But what if Freddy came in and he's wearing a funny hat and a funny nose and he's laughing and he's ah ha ha the building's on fire. Aga, aga näiteks Freddy astub sisse mingi klooni nina ees imelik müts peas torma vuksest sisse naerdes ja, ja lõkkerdes et oha maja põleb maja põleb. Would you believe him? Kas sa usuksid teda? Probably not. Arvatavasti mitte. So we need to always consider the source. Ma võime laadki arvestama selle allikaga. But how do you know if the source is telling you the truth. Aga kuidas tead, et see allikas räägib sulle tõtt? Experience. Ja, kogemus. You have to know the person who's talking to you. Sa pead teadma, teadma ja tunnma seda inimest, mm-hmm. kellega sa räägid, kellega sa suhtad. Ja. Then how do you know that what God says to us is true? Sega, kuidas sa võid teada seda, et see mida Jumal ütleb, et see vastab tõel? Do we know him? Kas me tunneme teda? Do we have experience with him? Kas meil on kogemus temaga? That what he said is true. Selleks, et teada, et, et see, mis ta ütleb, et vastab tõel. Or, well, maybe we just read it in our Bible. Võibolla me lihtsalt lugesime seda piiblist. And it happened back then, so maybe it'll happen today. Ja, et kui äh, mõtled, et äkki, kui see juhtus ainult nii kaua aega tagasi, et äkki see enam ei toimi. For you to have so complete faith in him. Selleks, et sinu saaks olla tõeline ja kindel ust temasse. That you're not considering the circumstances around you. Et sa ei arvestaks nende tingimustega, mis sinu ümber on. You're not looking at uh, the sickness that's on your body. Sa ei vaata näiteks selle haiguse peale, mis on sinu ühule. Or you're not looking at the numbers on the bank account. Ja sa ei vaata nende uh, numbrite peale, mis sinu panga konto ütleme. That say you don't have enough money to pay that bill. Ta öelda, et sulle ei ole piisavalt raha, sa eksid maksta seda arvet ära. You know that God will take care of you. Sa tead, et Jumal kannab sinu eest hoolt. But the only way to know that Aga ainus viis teada seda is if you know him. On, see, on siis, või olla täiesti kindel selles, on siis, kui sina tunned teda. You know, we all have the, the church answer. Et muidugi sa võid anda alati sellise kirikliku või kohuduse vastuse. Of course I know that God never lies. Muidugi ma tean, et Jumal ei valeta kunagi. Enne. Yes, I believe him. Muidugi ma usan, usun teda. But if we really believed him, Aga kui me tõeliselt usuksime teda, we would probably behave a different way. Siis me käituksime arvatasti teistmoodi. We would probably speak a different way. Me arvatasti räägiks teistmoodi. And so you need to... I'm sorry? And so... Always consider the source. I'm going to keep saying that over and over tonight. Because this affects every area of our life. Not just the Bible, not just God. But always consider the source. Every day we're bombarded with people talking to us. People commenting on things. You know, uh, 
the news now has, uh, if, you, if you read the news online, it always has the comment section. Or if someone posts a picture on Facebook and it gets shared, people comment on it. And sometimes I don't read the news for the news, I read the news for the comments. But when people are commenting anonymously and not putting their name on something, they get really mean. And so people's you know, feelings can get hurt. But we always need to consider the source. And we need to know what is the truth. And how do we gauge what is the truth? I'm sorry. How do we gauge or measure what is Kuidas the truth? Seda, uh, tõde, what is the, siis... the measuring stick? Kas mingi suus, uh, mõdu puuga, mõdu God's word. God's word is always the measuring stick. Sõna peaks see mõdu uumine, it, mõdame, is, seda, mis it is tõde, the mis truth. It is the truth. Have you ever used the website uh, Wikipedia? Wikipedia. <laughs> Yeah, I use it quite often. If I, if I want to read about information about something, it's kind of like Google. It'll come open and all the information about it will be right there. But the problem is, with Wikipedia, is people can add to Wikipedia information. I mean, of course, you want what they say to be correct. And that, you know, that it's checked and controlled. But people are not perfect. And so they can write whatever they want to. So always consider where you read it. Always consider where you read it. And where do we want to be reading? The Bible. Yes, thank you. <laughs> no, to get to know God. Selleks, et tunma õppida Jumalat. We need to read his word. Me peame lugeda tema sõna. We need to spend time with him. Me peaksime veetma aega Jumalaga. We need to talk to him. Me peaksime rääkima tema. We need to pray to him. Me peaksime palletama tema poole. And we, like Rain said, we need to have experience with him. Nagu Rain ütles, me peaks olema kogemus tema. And the experience is not just reading about him. Ja kogemus ei ole lihtsalt, et sa oled lugenud tema kohta. But sometimes we just have to step out in faith and do what he tells us to do and watch him do what he says. And you begin to get a little bit of experience because you tried it and you've proved him to be true. And you know what? Your faith, faith grows. Just like the mustard seed was meant to be planted. It wasn't meant to be sitting on the table over there. It doesn't do any good for mustard seed to be sitting on the table. Mustard seed needs to be planted. How do you plant something? If you have a seed, how do you plant it so that it will grow? Prepared soil. Uh -huh. And then what? Yes. Yeah, water. Water. Yeah. Yeah. And then you stick a bucket over top of it so you can't see it anymore, yeah? <laughs> no. Hey. <laughs> you do all of those steps. And you give it light. 
valgust võimalikult palju. You make sure you guard it and protect it. Sa teed kindle, kindlaks, et see sen ümbrus on, on, on puhastatud ja, ja, ja kaitstud. So that when you know you have done your job. Selleks, et sa tead, et kui sina oled oma töösel teinud. And it receives light that it needs. Ja see võtab valgust, valgust vastu, et see jääb sinna. It starts to grow. Ja see hakkab kasvama. What happens if you miss a step? Mis juhtub siis, kui mõni nende sammudest jääb sul tegemata? You threw a seed in the ground, you forget to water it. Viskan näiteks see, et ma pinen sisse ja unustad seda kasta. Probably won't grow. Üldjuhul see ei hakka kasvama. I have a, a plant in my, uh, one of my room's windows at home. Mul on üks taim kodus akne loo peal. And it's a room that I don't use very often. Ja on üks tuba, mida ma väga tihti ei kasuta. And I, but I like the plant to be in there because the vase matches everything else. Aga mulle meeldib, et see taim on selles, selles ruumis selle pärast, et see pot, mida see, see on, sobib väga selle ümbruskonnaga. And so, ümbruskonnaga. today I walked in there and I looked at it and it was like hard as a rock and light brown soil. See ka täna, kui ma astasin sinna ruumi sisse, siis see oli pinnas oli kivi kõva ja täiesti kuiv. And the plant itself was a weird color brown. Ja see taim ise oli väga veidrat pruuni värvi. And so I took it into the bathroom. Tega ma võtsin seda taime ja viisin mani tuppa. And set it in the sink and soaked it as long as I could. Ja, ja panin selle sinna vanni ja, ja, ja imutasin seda veega läbi nii palju kui võimalik. And that will probably be good for about a week. See võib olla kuskid nädalaega aitab seda taime. And then I'll come back in a month. Ja siis kuu aja pärast tulen tagasi seda and taime juurde. Oh, oh, I forgot to water that ja plant vaatan, again. Hmm, ma jälle unustasin seda taime kasta. And eventually it's going to wither and die. Lõpete lõpuks see võib ära kujuda täielikult ja ära surra. You have to water your, your seed. Kui sul on seeme, siis seda seeme on vaja kasta. Okay, so the word of God is your seed. Sega, Jumala sõna on sinu seeme. If you plant it, kui sa istutad selle, how do you plant it? See, kuidas sa selle istutad? How do you plant your faith the size of a mustard seed kuidas, so that it will grow? Kuidas sa istutad oma usku, mis on sinepi seemne ja suurune, niimoodi, et sa hakkaks kasvama? That is a good question. See on hea küsimus. We always say, okay, we have to plant our faith. Me ja, te mõtleme, jah, ma pean oma usku istutama. How do we Kuidas plant sa our istutad faith? oma usku? You read in the Bible. Sa oled Biblist. God wants to take care of me. Jumal tahab kanda hoort minu. He promised to meet my needs. Ta lubas, et tema kannab minu vajadust ees hoort. How do I get it from here? Kuidas ma saan selle siit seest? to where it's grown into here. Selle, selle, see kohta, kus ta kasvab, so that I can see God is meeting my needs. Niimoodi, et ma näen, et Jumal kannab hoort minu vajadust eest. Yes, you read it first, and then you speak it. Kõivalt sa loed ja siis sa räägid seda. Speaking the word of God is planting your seeds. Jumal sõna rääkimine on seemne istutamida. And sometimes we sit in church services where we hear about how to speak the word of God. Ja tead, vahest me istume Jumala teenistusel ja kuulame sõnumid sellest, uh, how to, how to speak the kuidas word of God. rääkida Jumala sõna. And you go home and you're excited like you're going to be tonight. Ja sa lähed, lähed, lähed koju, et põnevil, mõtled, et täna ma kindlasti teen seda. I'm going to speak the word of God from now on. Et nüüd sest peale ma hakkan rääkima Jumala sõna. My words create my future and I'm just going to have the best future. Minu sõnad loovad minu tulevikku ja mul saab olema parim tulevik. And tomorrow morning. Ja järgmine hommik. You get up. Ja tõsa püsti. There's no milk in the fridge for your coffee. Te külm kapi uksid ahti vaadab, piima ei ole, sa ei saa kohvi teha. And you start to speak negatively. I can't even afford milk. What? What a loser I am. Do you know what that's doing? That's like if Ulo goes and he plants a seed and waters it like he said he did. That's doing... And then he goes out the next day and picks it up, looks at it, it's not grown yet. Ja siis järgmine päev läheb sinna seemne juurde, pistab oma sõrme sinna mulla sisse, võtab seda seemniselt välja, vaatab, ikka veel ei kasva. Okay, I'll put it back. Paned taga sinna mulla sisse. And then you go out the next day and you pull it back out, oh, it's not grown yet. Ja siis järgmine päev läheb selle seemne juurde, pistab oma sõrme, mulla tõstab selle välja, vaatab, ikka veel ei kasva. And you start to get disappointed. Ja siis sa hakkab pettuma. And that faith that you had up here. Ja see usk, mis sul siin oli. Starts getting lower and lower and lower. Hakkab madalame ja madalame ja madalame ja that didn't work. Ja siis mõtled, kuule, see ei toiminud. And then what happens to your 
belief system in God. Mis juhtub sinu ususüsteemiga Jumalasse? Was it God's fault Kas that you see didn't Jumala grow? Jumalasse, et sinu seeme ei kasvanud. No. Ei. You just kept digging it back up. Sa lihtsalt kiskusid seda seeme, et sa muuasest välja. It was your fault. See oli sinu süü. But you're thinking, okay, I planted my seed, God makes it grow, what's the problem? It's God's fault. Aga sina mõtled, et okei, mina istutasin seemne ja ta ei kasva, siis on Jumala süü. It's God's fault. See oli Jumala süü. Yeah. Is it God's fault? Aga see on Jumala süü. No. Ei. No. Yes. God gives us the job to do. Jumal annab meile ülesanne, mida ta ikka. And so, when we plant our seed with the word, Kui me ei with our words, istutame oma seemne ilma sõnadeta. Or with words? We, we plant it by, yeah, with ja our me, words. Kui me istutame mm -hmm. oma seemne, siis sõnu rääkides. You say, God's, God supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory. Jumal arvestab minu vajad see vastavalt oma, oma riikuses, et mööda. God has given me all things pertaining to life and godliness. Jumal on annud mulle kõik, mis ma vajan Jumala auksi kartuseks. By his stripes I was healed. Läbi te tema vermete läbi ma olen saanud terveks. You get that word of God in your heart. Saad selle sõna enda südamesse. And a situation arises. Ja see olukord tõuseb üles sinna. And arus. instead of speaking the negatively, speak the word of God. Ja selle asemel, et rääkida seda negatiivselt sinu juurde, sa peaksid rääkima Jumala sõna. And what is that doing? Ja mida see teeb? It's watering your seed. See kastab nüüd seda seemet. It's watering your seed. See kastab lõpuks seda seemet. The Bible says when uh, Paul was talking back here a couple of pages. Bible tagi, kui siin Paulus. I think it was Ephesians. Paulus rääkis mm -hmm. Ephesusse kirjas. When he says, I planted the seed. Kui ta ütleb, et äh, mina äh, istutasin seemne. And then along came Apollos. And Apollos watered it. Apollos kastis seda seemet. Which meant he also spoke the word of God. Mis tähendab, et tema ka rääkis Jumala sõna. He helped build up your faith. Aitas üles ehitada sinu usku. Who makes it actually grow. Siis kes on see, kes paneb selle seemne kasvama? Jumal. Jumal. Amen. God makes it grow. Jumal paneb selle kasvama. We just do everything that we know to do. Aga meie peame anna ennast parima, mida meie teeme teha. To stop it, or to keep it from being hindered. Selleks, et anname oma parima selleks, et see seemel ei oleks mingisuguseid takistusi ees. We're going to read a verse in Ecclesiastes. What's Ecclesiastes? Kogua. Ja, kogua aeg. Kogua, jah. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Kogu ja raamat ühe teistmest peadud. Yes. Six. Kogu ja raamat üksteist peadud ja kuues said. It says, sow your seed in the morning, and in the evening let your hands not be idle, for you don't know which will succeed, whether it be this one or that one, or will both do equally well. Kogu ja üksteist kuus, ütleb, külva oma seemet hommikul ja ära ase oma käsi puhata õhtul, sest sa ei tea, mis õnnestub, kas see või teine või tulevad mõlemad ühtlaselt head. That just means don't be lazy. See lihtsalt tähendab selle, et ära ole laisk. Don't have lazy faith. Ära kui sul ei olgu laisk usk. Plant more than one seed at a time. Esiteks isilda rohkem üks seeme korraga. You know, you don't just sit around and read scriptures only on healing. And then you're really strong in faith and healing because you have that down in your heart and you know God's word is true on healing. But then you're living in a summer house because you can't afford uh, you know, an apartment or whatever. You're living in a shack, I should say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to, you know, you need to plant your faith, plant your seed in many areas of your life. Basically, just read the Bible. Learn his word. Õpi tunna Jumala sõna. Learn what he has to, that is promised to you. Õpi tunna seda, mida tema on sinule tõotanud, mida tema on sulle lubanud. But it's not like a giant candy machine. Aga see ei ole ka nagu tohutu suur kommimasin. Where you, you put in your, your formula, your coin and you pop, pop out candy. Kus sa paneb mingisuguse mülli või mingisuguse valemi sisse ja siis sa annab sulle vastu sinu kommi. It's a relationship. See on suhe. You have a, you know God. Sa tunned Jumala. If you don't know somebody, Kui sa ei tunne kedagi, 
You don't know for sure. Si sai, sai, sai tea kindalt. What they say is true. Et see, mida nad ütlevad, vastab tähe. That they will do exactly what they say. Nad teevad seda, mida nad on sulle lubanud. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So you're considering the source. Sega, kas sa arvestad allikada? What if the source is not God, it's an outside source? Mis siis, kui allikas ei olegi Jumal, vaid sa enda miks sunne väline allikas? What are other outside sources that Millised we have? Millised on teised välised allikad näiteks? We don't certainly sit and read the Bible 24 hours a day, so there's other sources that speak into our life. Me on ju kindlasti ei loe 24 tundi päevas piiblit, sega on ka erinevaid teisi allikaid, mis meil ei jõuavad, on nii. So what? Delphi. Yeah, the news, Delphi. Erinevaid, erinevaid allikaid on. Uudised. The news. Comments. Kommentaarid. On wherever. Facebook. Kus iganes siis? Other people, what they are saying, mm -hmm. what they say to your face and what they say behind your back. You know, it, your words matter to people. When I was in uh, ninth grade in high school, I remember, I don't know why I still remember it to this day. But I was, it was time to change classes Aga oli between, ja, yeah. tunnist teise minna. and so there was a mass of probably 300 kids in the hallway just going every which direction and it was just a whole bunch of people and the two 12th graders that were standing in front of me ja kaks kes seisid minu vastas, they said it really stinks in this hallway. Et, et siin tõsiselt haiseb. It just smells like dirty people all around me. Et siin haiseb nagu, nagu minu ümber. So here I was a little ninth grader. Siin oli mina väikene üheksa, üheksa <laughs> and I was like, I don't stink. Hakkasin, hakkasin nuusutama ennast, ma ütlen, et kuule, ma ei haise. But they kept going on and on about how this smelled like dirty people all around them. Need rääkisid, rääkisid nagu, 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 et, et inimesed ikka haisevad siin ümber ja. And so for probably months after that, I was obsessed with making sure I didn't stink. I'm not sure why and why that affected me. And I didn't want to go near those two girls. For some reason it got in my head that they were talking about me. Something as silly as that. People hear your words and they consider them and it affects how they think. So that 30 some years later I'm talking about it in another country. And so consider the source. Is it, is it really true? Of course if it is, go take a shower. <laughs> but you know what, if it's not for you, Aga, aga samas, kui see jutt ei puududa see, not true. kui see ei ole tõde, it's not uplifting. kui see ei ole üles ehitav, don't take it personally to siis yourself. ära võta seda isiklikult enda, enda ellu. Nii. You look at that source and you go, well, I'm not accepting that. Kas sa vaatad seal allika, allika peale ja ütled, et mina seda küll vastu ei vata. You know you have a choice. Sul on valik. You don't have to internalize and take everything that sa people throw at you. Sa ei sisse võtma igat allikad, igat jutu, mis sa kuulad. Who is the ruler of this world. Mm -hmm. The devil. Satan. And who wants you to fail in life? Satan. And who is after your soul? Satan. He doesn't want uh, you to win in life. And he, he's not, you know, Satan is not omnipresent like God is. So he's not everywhere. He's probably not the one standing next to you giving you a really bad day. But he has angels. Demons. 
and he'll send them if he knows you'll accept them. Ja, ta võib saata sulle neid, kui sina kui ta teab, et sa võtad neid vastu. And you know what the Bible says about that? Aga tead, mida Bible ütleb selle kohta. All right, this one we're going to read. Me nüüd loeme siit. Ephesians chapter 4. Kirja Efesastele neljast peadu. In verse 27. Ja 27. sail. Go ahead. Hold on one second here. The context here is about anger. Context siin on siin räägib vihast. But just this one sentence can... Ja lihtsalt see üks lause. Can, ...you can put to any area of your life. Sa võid seda nii-öelda kausutada üks kõik, mis see lõvalkonnas. It says, verse 26 says, In your anger do not sin, do not let the sun go down while you're still angry. Efesest tale neli, kas nüüd kuus salime enne, ma ütleb, et vihastaga, aga ärge tehke partu, ärge laske päeva looja minna oma vihastumise üle. Verse 20 says, 7 says, do not give the devil a foothold. 27 salime ütleb, ja ärge antke maad kuradile. What is a foothold? Mis on maa kuradile? A foothold is a place. See maa kuradile on üks koht, see on mingisugune ala, mingisugune koht tema jaoks. And in the, you know, and I'm not a Greek scholar, but I learned this from the internet. Ma ei ole mingisugune kreeka õppur, kreeka keele õppur, aga ma õppisin seda internetist. The word place in this verse, don't give a place to the devil or a foothold. See koht, et ära annad ole maad või kohta oma elus. It means, it's the Greek word topos. See on, siin on kasutud kreeka keelselt sõna topos. And it's talking about a specific geographical location. Ja siin räägib ühest kindlast nii-öelda geograafilisest kohast. And it's from that word where we get topographical maps. Ja sellest samast kohast me saame ka oma nii-öelda sellise välja nagu topograafilise kaardid näiteks. So it's speaking of a place, like a... Ja siin räägib sellisest kohast nii-öelda. A space. Sellisest alast. Don't give the devil a space in your life. Ära anna sellist maad või siis tühimiku saatanale. The Bible calls Satan the accuser of the brethren. Biiven nimetab saatanad süüdistajaks. And he'll do whatever he knows to do to get to you. Ja tema võib anda endast parima selleks, mida tema teab kasutada sinu vastu selleks, et saada sind. Whether it's just from... Hearing the words of your relatives. Olgu see lihtsalt sellest, et sa kuuled oma suhulaste sõnu. Reading the news. Ma ei ole, et sa loed uudiseid. If you're younger, you're hanging out in school. Kui sa oled noorem, käid koolis, hängid inimestega seal. Or you spend lots of time on Facebook. Ma ei ole, et palju aega Facebookis. And you read all the stuff people write. Ja loed kõik nii asju, mida inimesed kirjutavad. That's why it's important to be careful who you're friends with, even on Facebook. You need to surround yourself with people that will build you up. And so there's a story of a cat. The cat was banned to the backyard. Yeah, he wasn't allowed in the house. Ühte kassi ei lubatud maia sisse teda hoiti kohe ka kaias. And eventually the the mother thought, oh, I'll just let him come in, but he has to stay here in the living room. Aga siis ühel hetkel perenaine otsus, et okei, ma lasen, lasen selle kassi sisse ta, aga ta võib ainult siin ühe saas olla. And so the cat now has to live in the living room. Et okei, nüüd ta tohib ainult elu toas olla, et kassis tohibki ainult elu toas olla. One day she comes home and the cat's in her bedroom. Ja ühel päeval tuleb perenaine koju ja avastama oma kassi magamist toast. Oh, it's so cute here. Oh, vaata kui nunnu ta on. And then she came home the next day and the cat was on her bed. Ja siis järgmisel päeval tuleb koju ja see kass oli tal juba voodi peal. Now how did the cat get from outside to the bed? Kuidas see kass nüüd sai järsku tagahoovist järsku selle perenaise voodisse? Step by step. Samusammult. You know, the devil doesn't just come in and wreak complete a mess of your life. Aga tead, saad ka nii tule sinu ellu ja lihtsalt niimoodi, et ta tuleb sinu ellu ja... Täielik kaos, täielik segadus. But you give him a little place, a little foothold in your life. Aga sa annad tale natukene maad. And he knows, okay, they're going to let me stay here. Ja siis tõel, okei, nad lubavad mul siin olla. I'll press in a little bit further and see what else they allow me to do. Aga ma vaatan, kas ma saan natukene edas minna, kas nad lubavad mul ka natukene mujal olla. Little step by step, your life is a mess. Väikene sammu järel. I have a friend. Mul on üks sõber. And this is a good example of the story of the cat. Ja see on üks hea näidega selle kassilooga. This dog is not allowed on the bed. Seda koera ei lubata voodi peale. 
And of course, the dad put this picture on Facebook two days ago. Ja muidugi kaks päeva tagasi selle kohera nende peremees pani, pani selle viisi Facebook üles. And when he said something to his daughter about, okay, why is the dog on the bed? Ja kui ta ütles oma tütrele, et, et miks see koer voodis on, she said the dog's not on the bed. Sõtsi, et, 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 et aga koer ei ole ju voodis. The dog is on me. Ta on minu peal. See, because the dog's sitting on her back. Näete selle pärast, et see, see koer siin lamab selle tütre selja peal. You know, anything to get around the rules. Et, et mida iganes võib teha selleks, et reeglitest nii-öelda nii ümber minna. And that's how the devil will be. Ja, ja saadan on samamoodi. He'll just... Try to wiggle in wherever he can. And how do you get rid of that? You don't have to accept him. You don't have to let him come in and sit on your bed. You don't have to have him in your house. How do you get rid of him? Let him With the with the word of God. How did Jesus get rid of him? When he came to talk to Jesus, how did Jesus get rid of him? He said, it is written. And he spoke the word of God. And you know, every day we have mustard seed opportunities. We have to think, okay, am I going to love this person? Am I going to share my faith with this person? And you know, getting your faith to grow is just the opposite way that the devil gets a foothold into your life. Just a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at a time. You know, you don't turn into having little mustard seed faith. To the next day, you're going to go preach at a crusade of 10,000 people. Lähed, lähed ristirõtkele, krusaadile, jagad Jumala sõna kõikidele, kohadatele go inimestele. Go into the hospital and raise up all the dead people. Või, või, või lähed näiteks haiglasse ja äratad kõik surnud üles. No, it Ei. starts small. Ja hakkab vähekese haaval. It grows quickly. See kasvab kiiresti. But it takes time to grow. Aga see nõuab aega, et see saaks kasvada. I was reading a story uh, with Pastor Barry this morning. Lugesin ühte lugu täna hommikul koos Pastor Barryga. There was a, actually it was a story and a video that went along with it. See oli üks lugu ja sellega kaasnes ka üks video. And it was a speech that a Navy Admiral was giving at the Texas, University of Texas ja last sa, year. Ja see oli üks kõne, mida pidas üks Admiral Amerika Meneväest Texase ülikoolis. And the motto of the university is whatever starts, small, starts here changes the world. Ja, ja selle ülikooli motto on, mis, mis iganes here. saab alguses siit muudab maailma. You can have that motto in your own home. Sul võib olla samasugune motto sinu enda kodus. In your own bedroom. Sinu oma magamist vaas. In your own car. Oma enda autos näiteks. Whatever starts here changes the world. Mis iganes algab siit võib muuda terve maailma. They said that every person meets about 10,000 people in their lives. Et, on nimed, et, et iga inimene oma elu jooksul kohtab 10 000 inimest. And if each person would just change the life of 10 people. Ja kui iga inimene lihtsalt muudaks oma elu jooksul 10 inimese elu. After five generations of people the world would be totally changed. Siis peale viite põlvkonda oleks terve see põlvkond siin maavel täielikult muudetud. Yeah, and this afternoon I had to go with uh, some clients of mine to sign a rental contract. Täna pärast lõnas ma pidin minema oma, te, oma klientidega allakirjutama ühele läpingule. And I got there early, so I was sitting in my car reading. Ma sinna valakult ja, ja, ja ma istusin oma autos ja, ja lugesin. And these clients are two Mormon young men. Ja need kliendid olid juhtumisi kaks noort mormooni meest. And they, were, they got there early as well before the other agent did. Ja nad jõudsid samuti sinna varem enne kui see teine... Äh, äh, before the Mark 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 mm-hmm. yeah. And I was watching them a little bit. Ja ma, and they stood there for maybe two minutes. And then they walked on down the road. Ja siis nad kõndisid, uh, teed. And they started to talk to a lady. Ja nad ühe and they locked 
talk to the lady for several minutes. Ja praegsid selle naisega seal päris mitu minutit. And I was watching her and she was open to hearing whatever they had to say. Ja ma vaatsin, et see naine oli päris avatud selle suhtes, mis neil oli öelda. I, I even took a picture of it on my iPad. Ma siis ka võtsin pilti sellest oma iPadiga. I thought, these boys don't even take five minutes of a break. Ma vaatsin, et, et need, need kaks meest ei võtta isegi viite minutit pausitamiseks. They didn't stand idly no, not doing anything. Ei seisnud seal lihtsalt nii sama, ei tehes mitte midagi. They're so committed to sharing with others what they believe. Nad on nii veendunud selles, et jagada seda, mida nemad usuvad. And we don't agree with what they believe. Ja meie ei ole, meie just ei usu seda, mida nemad usuvad. But that's not the point. The point is, they were so committed that while they were waiting for an appointment, they started to talk to people. Nad on nii pühendunud, et nad isegi, kui nad ootavad kokku saamist, nad nad kasutasid seda aega ära. How do we use our free time? Kuidas meie oma vaba aega ära kasutada? You know, do we, we sit with our phones? Kas me istume seal oma telefoniga niimoodi? Or do we talk to people around us? Või me räägime inimestega enda? We say, oh, I can't talk to people. Sa mõtled, oh, ma ei saa inimestega rääkida. But after a while, Aga mõne aja pärast, if you just start small, kui sa lihtsalt alust hakkad väik, väikest viis inimede ja natuke sa haada, hakkad harjuma sellega. And you get a little bit less fearful, less afraid of doing it. Ja siis sa tunned vähem hirmu ja, ja, ja julged rohkem. To where you have the boldness just to walk up to anybody in town and talk Selle to them. Selle hetkene, kus sa julged ükskõik käle juurde minna ja rääkida nemad. If only all Christians were as dedicated as that. Kui võrd, kui, kui just kõik kristased suudaksid olla nii pühendunud, all we'd have to do is change 10 people. Ainus asi, mida me peaksime tegema, on muutma kümne inimese elu. And in five generations, the world could be changed. Ja viie võl- võlgkonna pärast võiks maailma olda Eesti teistsugu. And I'll close with this. Ja ma lõpetan selle. The admiral in his speech at the university. Et see admiral, kui, kui ta pidas seda kõned seal ülikoolis. He said, if you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. Ta ütles, et kui sina tahad maailma hakata muutma, siis alusta sellest, et sa teed oma voodi üles. He said every morning uh, in the Navy, he was doing a SEAL training, Navy Ütles, SEALs. Ütles, et mere jalaväest ta iga hommik tegi neid õppusi nendele uutele äh, vägedele. The first thing that they would have to do is they'd have to make their bed and the instructors would come in and inspect it. Ja esimene asja, mis nad pidid hommikuti tegelema, on pidi tegema oma voodi üles ja siis tulid inspektorid ja, ja, ja vaatasid üles. You know, and the, the sheets had to be with no wrinkles in them. Et voodi inadesid ei otinud olla mingisuguse kortse. The corners had to be exactly squared off. Nurgad pidid olema täp, täiuslikult nur, nurgelised. The pillow exactly in the middle. Padi täpselt keskel. And they thought, here we are, we're warriors. And I'm not saying, men are messy, men are messy, so do it. And we have to make our bed every day. We have to make our bed every day. But you know, if you make your bed, aga tead, kui sa te- suudad oma voodid and you stand ülesteha. there and you look at it, it kind of gives you a nice feeling, huh? Ja kui sa seisad seal ja vaatad oma voodi peale, siis see tegedab sinu sellise hea tunde. Something in your life is organized. Et midagi sinu elus on organiseeritud. And it gives you the encouragement to do something more, to make you more organized. Ja see annab, julgustab sind midagi enamat nüüda panna organiseeritumaks. And those small things that you do on a regular basis add up. Ja need, kui need väiksed asjad, mida sa hakkad tegema, kui nad hakkama kokku klappima, and so you take something small. Sega sa võtad midagi väikest. And it turns into something bigger and bigger. Aga sa muutub aina suuremaks ja suuremaks. And even if you've had a bad day. Isegi kui sul on olnud you can, päev, you can always go home and look at your bed. Siis võid aadi minna kodu ja vaadab oma you know, voodid. Tomorrow is a brand new day. Et homme on uus päev. <laughs> because you can start out fresh every day. Siis sa võid alustada värskelt u- 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 uuesti. So we need to start small. Me peaksime alustama väikestest asjadest. Start with this. Alusta sellest. Our our mustard seed faith. Meie sinepi seeme usukene. Whether we're speaking the word of God, et kas me räägime Jumala sõna, or we're just taking time to do the little things in life. Või me lihtsalt võtame aega selleks, et teha väiksed asju. Eventually it grows. Sest üldjoontes see hakkab kasvama. And then it becomes beautiful like this. Ja siis see muutub see sidusaks nagu see. And then it becomes big like this. Siis see muutub suureks nagu see põhsas. And the Bible says the tree, the birds of the, the air can nest under the, the shade of these branches. Ja Bible ütleb, et, et taeva linnud saavad tulla ja ehitada pesasid sinna nende okse lahe. And so as you grow your faith, your must receive faith. Kui sinna kasvad oma usus, kasvad oma sinepi seemne usus. Not only will it change your life. Mitte ainult ei muuta see sinu elu. But it will affect those around you. Vaid see mõjutub ka inimese, kes on sinu And be bold. Ja ole julge. And watch it grow. And what? Watch it grow. Ja vaata, kuidas see kasvab. Amen. 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 So go home and speak faith. And-